It's been a trip across I-80. Hastings Tiger fans have been happy to make several times this week. Tonight they have a chance to make another one. Would they come home happy? Let's go to the championship game on a beautiful night at Concordia with the winner going to state. Hastings against the Seward Blue Jays. Tigers on the attack and Yannick Ullman with the header for the goal. one nothing Hastings as they score early in this game. Now it would be 2 to nothing Hastings or would it as Mauricio Armento uh, scores a goal but it is disallowed. The Tigers called for offside so still 1-0. Mauricio cannot believe it. Later in the first half, Seward has a chance to tie the game as Lucas Garber is with the penalty kick, but he is turned away, and the Hastings Tigers able to make that goal stand up. The Tigers on their way to state final score in this one. It was Hastings, even though turned away a couple of times. Hastings defeating Seward. Final score, 1-0 in the ball game tonight over at Concordia. Congratulations to the Tigers, 10-6, and six, heading for state next week. Likely they'll play Thursday. Let's go to the girls' Class B District 5 title game between uh, Grand Island Northwest and Hastings. The Tigers end up scoring five goals early, and they put the game away by halftime, just like the game against York on Tuesday. Just about the entire contest dominated by those Hastings Tigers. They get the title trophy. They are going to state for the third consecutive year, and another shutout for them today. We uh, got a PK early, uh, and then we kind of opened up the scorebook after that, and uh, Brought it off five more and then a half time. I was hoping to get one or two more um, in the second half. It didn't happen though. I thought we controlled the game for the most part and did what we had to do. And, uh, you know, I, I was happy with the 80 minutes that we played today. And well, he should be as the Tigers defeat Grand Island Northwest 5 0. Tigers will play on Friday, next Friday, that is, in the state tournament. Other games the Holdridge Dusters defeat the Scotts Bluff Bearcats. Holdridge girls on their way to the Class B state tournament in the field of eight, along with Hastings. And in boys' action, Lexington defeating Holdridge by the score of 2 to 1 to move on. They'll join the Hastings Tigers and six other teams in the boys' tournament. Well, it's one of the excellent conferences.